Sometimes it stopped me from doing back testing because I got so lazy. The more you sweat in a training ground, the more you practice in a dojo, the less you will bleed in the battlefield, the less money you will lose in the real life market. Hey friends, hey traders, you wouldn't want to skip this whole video because I want to show you guys how to download my free Excel template to track your trades and to track your progress and generate your trades. I received so many comments about the indicator that I use. It looks so clean. So this is what I'm going to show you guys in today's video. I'll also walk you through the journal that I take, the step by steps, how I journal my trades, the software that I use, Excel, Notion, and the screenshot that I take. I'll be also going through my favorite way of taking notes for my learning. But first, let me quickly show you guys some of the trades that I took a few weeks ago in Forest Tester 5. First of all, I would like to highlight all of my or highs or lows look at here we have our buy side this is our relatively equal highs this is our full low and we have our bullish order block right over here we also have our bullish order block right over here the market has been bullish and the market is respecting our institutional order flow we have our pda rates are respected if you look very closely we have our bullish order block respected here we have our breakaway gaps and the price is breaking our old highs right over here also here so here and it's very clear that we are on on a very clear uptrend so this is one of the trades that i took uh, a few weeks back what i can see here is that this is our bullish order block can very clearly see that we have our all high relatively equal highs this is our buy side liquidity and we took our sell side liquidity resting below here and it's good that we have our breakaway gaps we want this to be left open right now the price tap into our bullish order block this is our fair value gap once i identify the direction of the market once i identify the bias of the market the next likely bias will be bullish so i'm expecting bullish prices i'm going long in the market so let's go down to the lower time frame to look for any potential setups okay this is the fair value gap on a daily we can refine it in our lower time frame on a 4h and a 1h okay once i have highlighted my key levels let's go down to the lower time frame on a 15 minutes or the five minutes to look for a potential setup okay this is our midnight open so what i want to see on the 15 minutes is that i want to see a very clear displacement and this is our higher time frame fair value gap so i want to see price somehow you know retrace eventually take out our relatively equal lows right around here so this is our sell side liquidity i want to see a very clear market structure shift after liquidity is taken since i'm bullish i want to look for any sell side liquidity taken and um, shift in market structure with displacement and look for our fair value gap, bullish order block, like any potential PD arrays that can help us with our entry. My favorite feature of Forest Tester 5 is that I can quickly simulate a live scenario, a live trading moment so that I can go back and reflect on a trade that I took or a trade that I might miss in the market. Because sometimes I might not have my chart open all the time with me and I might not be right in front of the computer my laptop to trade so that i can utilize a trading simulator like forest tester 5 to go back those moments and relive those conditions so let's keep playing so let's keep track of our kill zone this is our london kill zone so we don't really have any setup so okay it's good that we tap into our sell side liquidity but we don't really have a market structure shift so I'm still waiting, waiting, and that's the end of London Q zone. So we tap into the order block right over here as well on the 15 minutes time frame. Another thing that you want to utilize is the power of three. If we are expecting bullish prices, the price open, this is the opening price. Let's say this is the opening price midnight, which we have right over here. This is our midnight open. Once the price open, doesn't matter you know what it does. You can go up and down and down, doesn't matter. So ideally, what you want to see is the price to drop below, dip below the opening price. And that's where we want to buy. That's where we are looking for our long setups. And that's where they accumulate their orders and they're going to push the price higher. So this is the power of three. As you can see, we have our swing high from here. I want to see a displacement above this high and see if we have any setup form for our entry this is not really a clean displacement but we do have a, a displacement right over here so i want to wait for the 
uh, this candle to form then we look for any potential setup this is our order block in fact this whole candle is our order block if you can see here this whole candle is our order block we have a displacement this is our fair value gap so the trade that i took was that i placed my order limit order right at this order block and stop loss just below this order block so let's wait for the price to tag into our order to see if we can get into this trade okay we are in a trade this is a fair value gap entry 2022 model okay there you have it we smashed the take profit so this is one of the trade that i took a few weeks back just want to share with you guys in uh, forest tester 5 one of my favorite feature about forest tester 5 is that you can't go back to your chart a lot of traders might fall into the trap of you've seen the price already move but you somehow want to go back to your chart and retake that trade so this is not possible using forest tester 5 so this prevent you from cheating this is one of my most favorite feature because you want to emulate live trading as much as possible going back and cheating in your back testing or in your studying it's just a waste of time and it doesn't really help you at all as a trader check out this video where i talk about backtesting ict strategies i go to step by steps tutorial how i backtest and some of the things that you have to take note i will show you guys how to utilize forest tester 5 and make the best out of it check it out if you haven't watched that video okay moving back to the indicator that i mentioned earlier so let's go back in trading view recently i discovered a tool in trading view it's called ict everything by cold brew roche it basically includes most of the tools that I use for trading ICT strategy. You have midnight open, you have day of week, kill zones, weekly open. So let me just quickly show you guys. This is a weekly open. The most important thing is that you have to make sure that you have to match the time frame that you're using for this indicator to work perfectly. So you can play around with it. You can show London kill zone, New York kill zone, you know, afternoon sessions. You can also have our weekly open, midnight open. You can also have a uh, New York open. You can just play around with it it's not rocket science you can see the these lines are not random lines you can see that this is the midnight open on monday and this is our weekly open you can see this is our asian range usually i just switch it off for our es future but if you are trading let's say forest you can definitely utilize them this is our midnight open on tuesday for today and this is our new york open not sure if you can see there's like a tuesday mentioned here so you can also have like a day of week another tool that i started testing is week and day opening gap which is taught by 2023 ict concept you know prices always risk testing and draw to those levels so let me quickly show you guys in a chart it's called weekly opening gap by crypto night you can clearly see the the new week opening gap this is a all the new week opening gap for the past few weeks price always come and react from these levels this is very clear see price come and react on these levels so here ict teach you very in depth so go and check out his twitter so this is something that i've been testing if you're someone new then definitely this will help you out but i wouldn't recommend to leave it on you know all the time usually just switch it on and off just to check you know where the price is is it reacting around those levels usually just switch it off just to make sure that my chart is clean and simple i even switch off the kill zone because they are very distracting to me i just use my eyes to gauge whether we are in london kill zone new york kill zone in afternoon session in terms of journaling in terms of writing my reflection and writing down my emotions it's very important because that's how i keep track really gain that awareness about myself to understand myself also how i react to certain things how I re react to price, how I react to winning trades, how I react to losing trades. In terms of journaling, usually I use Notion, I use Excel. For Excel, I just use it to lock in my entry, my exit, also my price, my time for the trade so that I can track my progress. Nothing really special about it, it's just the amount of work that you've put into in order to become a profitable trader. Whenever you're using this Excel sheet, make sure you only change the boxes in green. You can change your account size to 100,000. Let's say you are risking 0.5%. Then you can key in the time and date. Today is 21st of February. The date and the time, let's say you are you, you took the trade around 9 a.m. Whatever pairs that you took, 
You have so many currencies that you can choose. You have Nasdaq, S&P 500, the Dow, the price is 1.2 something. And for the stop, make sure you key in the amount of pips. The stop loss is 10 pips and you took the trade and you won. Let's say you took one is to two and your exit was 20 pips. Let's say you put a win, you gain 0.6% because you are risking 0.3% and it will just automatically calculate numbers, the win rate. Make sure you never touch the, the boxes in yellow. Let's say you took a trade and the quality of the trade is A plus. You can just put A or you can put B or C. Direction, we can just put long or short up to you. So let's, in this case, let's just put long. Time frame, you can pick and choose, you know, is it on a five minutes or 15 minutes exit? Not really necessary, it's up to you. You can key in the price that you exit out. Keynotes, you can just put fair value gap entry, or you can just also key in the emotion that you're feeling. It's very simple, very easy to use, nothing really special about it, just in your locking your trades and this help you to track your trades and track your process by the way you can download the free excel template for you to track your trades and to track your progress in terms of notion i like to use it to write down my emotions write down my psychology how i'm feeling also doing some reflections sometimes i also use notion to track my trade for entry my exit so on and so forth and you don't really need that perfect notion template to get started i use notion daily for my work day-to-day -day trading planning youtube videos journaling and reflection you can start writing down your feelings your emotion and just lock down whatever screenshots as you can see i have my screenshots i have some notes and some reflection on my emotions how i'm feeling during the trade before the trade after the trade you can just write down 21st feb let's say you took a buy uh, es 500 during new york session it was during a uh, higher time frame bullish order flow market structure shift and it was a fair value gap or order block entry you can put down your screenshots right over here and just write down some notes This is basically how I lock down and journal my trades. For note taking and for studying, my preferred method is to print out the screenshots, especially if I'm learning from a video, I will screenshot every single different, you know, section of the video and I'll start writing with a pen, writing notes, anything that's important so that I can go back and reflect if there's anything that I can refer to later in the future. The most important thing that I use, neither Notion or Excel is to use them for backtesting. So whenever I'm collecting data for my backtesting, all of the things that I'm doing right, all of the things that I'm doing wrong, all of them just lock them into neither Notion or neither Excel. Backtesting is very important. If you watch my some of my videos, I always emphasize that, you know, always backtest, backtest, backtest your strategy. Because backtesting teaches me the importance of practice and how to be patient. Many people, including myself, whenever we started learning a strategy or starting learning concepts, especially in the very beginning, you think that you can start Start making money right away without putting in the hours and hours of practice trading is a skill that requires hours days weeks and even years of you know mastery training and also practicing and constant of learning even me after learning trading and doing trading for three years i feel like i still know nothing about the market i'm still learning every day and practicing every single day that's why i invested in a good backtesting software like Forest Test 5 and I use it as my training ground to get good in trading. It is a safer environment to learn trading because it simulates the live market as closely as possible. As I always say in my videos, the more you sweat in a training ground, the more you practice in a dojo, the less you will bleed in the better field, the less money you will lose in the real life market. Let's say you have a profitable strategy and a training plan. I will want to emulate and repeat the same success, repeat the same process in the market so that i can go and hunt for these same setups and see it 100 times a thousand times and ten thousand times and really study how many times does it do well how many times did it fail does it work in this kind of market condition or does it work in this market condition these are the things that you have to refine on your own and really find out what works really well for you the whole purpose of having clarity in your training plan is to find an edge in the market you can achieve it by back testing and you will actually then gain confidence in your trading strategy whenever it fails to work you will understand that 70 to 80 percent of the time the strategy work and it's profitable so that you won't panic and you will just wait patiently for the next setup for the next trading day taking a loss will no longer affect your psychology 
or your emotion as much as before. By having more confidence in your strategy backed by the data that you have collected, whenever you are in drawdown, you will not panic and you will not be overwhelmed by the fear anymore. Talking about backtesting, there are so many multiple ways to backtest your strategies. You can do it manually with TradingView, you know, you lock every single trade, entry, exit, price, and manually calculate the amount of profit you make, the profitability factor after 100 trades. This is not the best way in terms of time efficiency. It is very time consuming. Sometimes it stopped me from doing backtesting because I got so lazy to do it manually and it is very wasting of my time. That's what I felt like. Another downside of doing manual backtesting in TradingView is that I cannot save my progress which is super frustrating. Whenever I, I need to go back manually to go back to the data that I backtested, I just feel like the workflow is very inefficient and a waste of time. The most efficient way to backtest or my personal favorite way is to use a trade simulator like Forex Test 5, where you can analyze your statistics very easily. They have all in one platform where you can see all the profit or the loss or the trades that you have taken. You can save your progress and come back to where you left off. Take screenshots easily, lock down your trade. You can back test multiple currencies, multiple pairs, stocks, indices, and easily access to all data in all time frames, including one minute, especially when you're doing multiple time frames analysis. Let's say you want to backtest 2015 GPP USD. You can go back all the way to one minute. This is not possible using TradingView. Investing in a backtesting software is the best decision that I ever make in my trading journey. And you will never go wrong with Forex Test 5 because they are the best trading simulator, in my opinion, for practicing. The return on investment is unlimited because Imagine getting their lifetime access to their platform for a fraction of a cost of 24 cents per day for the next five years. That will only cost you four to 500 bucks. Use the investment to make 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, or even 100,000 in the live market. This is a no brainer. Check out Forex Test 5 for free. Yes, you heard me right. It's for free in the link in the description. And you can use the code for 10% discount if you want to. Thank you Forex Testify for sponsoring this video. In my previous video, I talk about my trading view settings and some of the tricks and tips that you can use. Make sure you check it out after watching this video. In that video, I show you how to use some of the trading view premium features without paying any money. Keep going because you are closer than you think and thank you for watching.